of the 2021-22 season, his average score is 18.9 and 11.1 rebounds. He was named as a top performer of its team, being the highlight of every game. What makes him different from others? There is something special about him. Meet Ragona, the first naturalized foreign basketball player, not of Korean descendant, to earn the South Korean citizenship. Um, my name is uh, Ricardo Ralph, and also I'm, not, I'm also known by uh, Ragona, and uh, I'm a professional basketball player in the KBL for Aegis KCC in uh, South Korea. Uh, I've been playing in Korea now. This is my 10th season, so yeah, since 2012, yeah. He moved to Korea in 2012, and by 2018, he became a naturalized South Korean. As he became a national South Korean, he also got a new Korean name, Ragona. Ra is from, uh, my last name is Radliff, so R-A came from that. And Gunna means like uh, strong leader type. So me and my old head coach from uh, Samsung, Lee Sung Min, we came, came up with the name together. He played for the United States before becoming the first American college player selected in the Korean Basketball League. And in 2017, he briefly played for the Philippine Basketball Association, where his basketball fame went even higher. But ultimately, he returned to South Korea to play for the KBL once again. The most difficult part is maybe practice. <laughs> We run a lot, but uh, you know it's it's a lot of perks too. But out of all the things, like the most difficult thing is the the practice schedules. This is my third team I played for, so team like we were really close, really tight, and uh, you know I was, this will be my fifth year on this team alone. So you know we've been around each other a lot. They know me, I know them, so you know we enjoy each other. The biggest thing that I learned about the Korean culture is uh, respect. Respect your elders. Um, I know we, we respect our elders in the States too. Here it's like, you know, next level. So, uh, you know, it made me even want to respect my elders more when I when I go home. So I teach my daughter to make sure that you respect everyone older than you, stuff like that. So, you know, I think that was the biggest thing for me. As COVID-19 hit the nation, the strictest level of social distancing rules was implemented. How did it affect the basketball scene? This meant that no spectators were allowed and the league had to be canceled in 2020. You, know, you guys did a really good job of managing it, making sure people wear masks, making sure keeping the numbers low. In other countries, it's not the same. But I just felt sorry for the fans that they weren't able to you know, get that, um, that interaction with us that you know, they, they love to get and we love to do it have that interaction with them too. They just showed up that we love them too. According to a FIBA columnist, people are wondering if Ragona could be the best naturalized player in FIBA Asia history. He's a star key player for the national and the KCC team, winning awards such as KBL's Player of the Year, KBL's Champion, and more. Um, my role model, I got you got you, um, Kevin Garnett, uh, Mike Stoudemire, I used to like a lot, uh, Tim Duncan, you know, all the, pretty much uh, Karl Malone, all the great uh, power forwards of like 90s, early 2000s, like that's my favorite uh, style of basketball. Uh, I think that my only goal that I could probably have left it would be to get my jersey retired. I've pretty much done everything else. I have championships, I have like, uh, Foreign, best foreign player awards, so, and I have a passport, so I guess maybe to get my jersey retired. I think I don't think it's any uh, foreigners ever had a jersey retired in Korea, so I think that, you know, that's my last goal. Dragona represented South Korea for almost 10 years now, but aside from being a national basketball player, he's a husband and a father. I think the thing I like the most about Korea is safety. Uh, it's no no drugs, and they don't have to worry about like gun violence or anything like that because it's banned from the country. So uh, I'm really big on my family. So as long as my family's safe, I'm good. I feel like I'm good anywhere, like in any country. But 
for my wife, my daughter, like I make, gotta make sure that they're uh, safe and secure. It makes you have more respect for women when you have a, a daughter. You know, it makes me even love her mother more because so she can see, like, oh, this is what I want when I become, when I look for a boyfriend or when I look for a husband, she's gonna look for me, like look for the way that she treated, see she's me treat her mother. So it just makes me respect like not only her, her mother, but all women more. Uh, to me, basketball means uh, everything. Like it's everything for me. Like I would, if I didn't have it, I don't know where I would be. Like, especially coming from like a poor family, poor environment. So I definitely wouldn't be here. Hopefully, I would be playing another sport. But you know, I could be doing the wrong thing too. I'm able to provide for my family the way I want to. It met uh, thousands and thousands of people, and like. I don't know, thousands and maybe even millions of people love me worldwide, especially in Asia. So, uh, you know, basketball is everything. And it's, uh, you know, it's, it's love. Like, it's, so I just love the game, and that's why I try to do right by it, by being the best player I can be. Dragona has been setting records for almost 10 years and will continue to draw the public's attention, cover news headlines, and elevate the basketball scene in South Korea.